We're standing here with the CTO, uh, Willy Eskelinen. Eskelinen, yeah. Eskelinen, sorry. Willy Eskelinen, the CTO for uh, eDrive Retro, uh, which is a new young company, uh, started in 2015, right? Yes, correct. Uh, and you're converting classic cars into EVs. That's yes, we're giving new life, new green life for these EV uh, yeah. classic cars. Yeah. Found a car that's look, looking interesting. Uh, it's it's not uh, the same kind of dull cars that you find around. So it was really something that people maybe don't even distinct what car it is, but it definitely catches the interest of the people. Yeah. So that was the perfect starting point to, to do the first conversion on that car because it stops people as it is. Uh, it's completely different compared to the MGA. Uh, and you're currently selling something, you're, you're, you're estimating something about 20, 30 maybe a year. That's what you're starting at. You don't yeah. know it right now, but something yeah, like that. Yeah, well, it's, that's the ballpark. We're, yeah. we're gathering a kind of database for the possible customers. We're doing this limited series approach for the car for the MGA so that we can produce in the low tens like 20 to 50 cars a year but also we're not tied to only that so we can do different solutions uh, for example the GT6 that you see on the on the other yeah. side there uh, that's a that's a car uh, that has a different starting point for for the design yeah. so we're open for kind of different variations of, of car selling Do you have customers coming in saying maybe can you retrofit this old yeah. car yeah we get those we, we get those yeah. Well, not maybe daily, but weekly we get a lot of questions about how could I do this for my Jaguar, how could I do yeah. this for my Mercedes, uh, and all over the world. It's, it's funny how this kind of uh, uh, social media thing is, is kind of progressing and, and, and making everything come closer. You know? yeah. the, the range on the MGA um, is approximately 150 kilometers or, yes, or 100 miles, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, you can use this year, year round, but I guess you will drive it in the summer. Well, it depends where you are. I mean, yeah. we're Nordics, it's not a good idea, no. maybe. But, no. <laughs> but, no. but you, know, you know, in the in the in the U.S., for example, Miami area, why not? It's no. it's, a, it's yeah. a it's a used car. You know? Yeah. It's and 150 kilometers is that really? I mean, mixed driving is, or is it like? The maximum you can get well, out. Oh, it's it's a maximum end of of, okay. uh, of the range. So, yeah. so it depends. I mean, we, we built the car. It's really interesting. It has uh, independent suspension with uh, dual wishbone, so it's actually a good car on the track. Yeah. So if you go to the track, you'll probably get up maybe 30 kilometers full throttle. <laughs> yeah. And how many uh, the weight uh, versus kilowatt hours here? I mean. Uh, what, what's the weight of the car total in the with well, batteries? The we're, uh, it, it's a 50 kilograms over the original, so we're really just bending that 1,000 kilogram uh, okay. range there. But that's not so so heavy. I mean, and that's with the battery. You have something yes. like how many kilowatt hours? Do you 22 have? kilowatt 22. hours. 22. Yeah. And the three batteries just in, in the bottom, right? You put in. Yes. Uh, yeah. One uh, under uh, both passengers and uh, then one in the back, yeah. just where the fuel tank used to be. And how's the interest been for this car in Finland and in general? You, you mentioned a little bit on it, but about it, but it's, it's many people are they lining up for to make an order or just you know, well, curious or... Yeah, we're, we're kind of building just interest towards the company right now. I feel that uh, it's increasing. Uh, it seems that the more people, of course, we reach, the more people those people reach. Yeah. Uh, we just need to find the kind of right audience for the car. Yeah. It's not for everybody. No, of course not. But, but you know, it's, there, there's a lot of these car enthusiasts around the world. Yeah. And, and, you know, we're not only tied to the Nordics. We can do this wherever we, we want and where we can find uh, good partners to do it. Yeah. So and that's one of the business ideas, just to grow it out so we can actually uh, function in multiple countries. Yeah. And uh, what the price approximately was for the MG? Okay. It's, a, it's yeah. 150,000 euros. Exclusive VAT or? Uh, it's exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're pr producing a series of cars, right? Yes, this is a limited series of cars. So it's kind of engineered throughout the uh, keep kept in mind the fact that uh, the, the chassis of the vehicle actually supports very nicely the CV conversion. Yeah. So that's why we picked the car. Yeah. Uh, we estimated that we will probably produce something in the low tens, so maybe 20 to 50. It's really hard to know how, how this uh, market uh, 
is, is going up. So. Yeah. And, and the price wasn't too bleedy as well, uh, the starting price for the MJ. Well, it depends. We have different uh, options uh, the customer can choose from. So we have this, uh, this is the, the high-end uh, product here with the high-end interior. And of course, it's, it's a lot of money, but when it comes to this type of low, low series, um, it sure, sure lo looks uh, astonishing and it's uh, well crafted. So uh, yeah, co compared to others, it's, it's not that much money. And also, when we're talking about the value of a vehicle, you can t you can you can look around. We have we're next to Lexus, we're next to uh, BMW i8. We have these cars, which are kind of. Uh, more or less the same price tag. We're, we're, we're probably in Finland at least the i8 is worth something like 180,000 euros. We're talking about 150 with this. But let's fast forward 10 years. What's going to happen in 10 years for the price of the i8? It's going to sink down. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one, yeah. you, 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 you surely will stand out. So if yeah. you come cruising with this one, yeah. you surely will. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really car. eye catcher. It's yeah, and, and it's a classic car already. Yeah. Yeah. So the value is not going down. Oh, either it's going to stay or it's going to increase in value.